Hey everybody, Autobot John here, and I just wanted to show you one of the latest works I've been working on. This is my 1-6 scale custom Aragorn from Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Um, pretty much uh, show you the head sculpt is a repainted, um, remolded sideshow collectibles Aragorn. Uh, repainted the beard, the eyes, the whole face has been repainted, all the hair, got rid of some of the hair, added some different parts of the hair, uh, darkened the eyes a little bit. Um, the only thing that is the original on here is actually the actual iris because it looked pretty good, so I kept it. Um, let's see, he's got his sash, um, like in the movie, the little cloak the green cloak I added myself the actual costume itself is been um I dyed it it was a greenish color now it's like a darkish green blackish color um he's got a real cloth glove on top of the molded one that sideshow gave uh the belt has been was made by me it's made of real uh brown leather um, let's see, he's got a leather strap going across his, uh, um, armor, I guess is what you would call it. His boots are real cloth, and they have little leather straps that are taped on them, I mean, uh, glued on them. Thought that would be pretty cool. He's got dirt all over his legs from where he's been in battle. Um, the hand's been repainted and it's got the ring uh, I'm gonna go back and paint some more details on the ring uh, turning him around uh, he's got his knapsack or, or um, tent that he had in the movie uh, he's got his bow and arrow um, he will have an arrow cleave but I haven't had time to make that yet uh, basically where he's gonna put his arrows at give you a good look at his face I'm very proud of this figure. It's my very first Lord of the Ring figure, and uh, I think it came out pretty good. Um, moving his hand, um, so you can see there's his sword. Um, the sword is not complete. I will go back and finish working on that. Um, it is not the way I actually want it. The sword is plastic because it came with the Toy Biz figure. Um, but it's got all the details of Aragorn's sword. Um, he's very poseable. I'm very happy with how this figure came out. Uh, the clothing, just to show you, did not come from the Sideshow one because all I got was the body from Sideshow. I got it off of a place called War to WarToys.com. Um, I got the head and the arms. I got this on a Sideshow body right now. Um, but basically, here's the original figure for the Toy Biz. That's where the costume came from. And here he is right here. And, um, I mean, it still looks like Vigo Mortensen. The jaw's a little too big, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not terrible. He's got the ring painted onto his finger. Um, the glove, I took it off. Um, pretty much what I did was this suit that was on the Toy Biz one was a one-piece suit and I cut it in half pretty much uh, cut it at the sh I cut it at the shirt uh, seam, I cut it at the pants seam, and I cut it at the boots because honestly I've seen the Sideshow boots they're molded plastic it looks like and I kinda like the cloth look it makes it more detailed basically to me and it also it, you know it looks like something they would have worn back in those days and uh, I, I didn't get a good look at his boots in the movie but um, you know I, I'll probably dye them the right color when I have the time but uh, for now I really like the cloth boots um, but anyway the reason I'm showing you that figure um, is because this costume that's on this Aragorn that I made is not the costume I'm keeping uh, for, it's it's going to be up there until my real one comes in, which should be uh, either Monday, Tuesday, or sometime Wednesday. Um, I had it express shipped, so it should be there. It should be here any time. But um, I'm making the version from the two towers. And basically what I'm saying, if anybody's interested, because I'm keeping this one, of course, but this one right here I don't really need. I don't feel like going out and buying all the... 12, the 
toy biz ones but I do like their costumes um, so what I'm going to do is if anybody is interested I um, am going to repaint this face sculpt to m pretty much match this one or as close to it as I can then this costume that I custom dyed and made all the accessories for and everything is going back on this one and back in the box if anybody's interested um, I, 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 I'm open to uh, if anybody wants it let me know hit me up at ljfeniainnocent.com um, not really looking to sell it for a lot I'd rather trade it for more uh, 1 6 uh, scale parts since I have trouble getting those some these days um, so if anybody's a Lord of the Rings fan and you would like an, a 12 inch Aragorn uh, with a custom suit uh, let me know the only thing that will not be coming with this suit is there will be no sword and sheath you will not get the boots um, everything else will be coming the all the costumes coming except for the boots and the sword and um, whoever gets it I will I will um, once I get my metal sword they are they're out of stock but once I get it uh, I will send you the sword to go with it and the sheep so uh, anybody's interested uh, parts I'm looking for uh, I'm going to be doing all the characters that I am able to from the Lord of the Rings um, so hit me up i um, looking for sword parts, costume parts, head sculpts, bodies with head sculpts, anything that can help me. So pretty much just hit me up at uh, ljfeeny at msn.com and um, we'll go from there. Um, this is going to be a very cool custom class for me to go into. I cannot wait to start working on more of them, but right now Aragorn is the only one I, I can do right now. And hold on one minute, I'll show you his posability. Uh, stare at the Aragorn box for a minute, guys. <laughs> and he's still got all his posability from, you know, the original figure. Uh, and just being honest, I think Sideshow did an excellent job with his head sculpt. I mean, it really does look like Aragorn. Uh, but if you paint it, it brings out more details in him. And I've had a lot of people uh, tell me that, you know my paint jobs are getting better you guys be the judge of it because basically um i went to give give him his look from the two towers and i think it came out pretty good um i don't like return of the king's version of aragorn um but i probably will end up making him just you know because i can and, and it'll probably be cool to finish all of them together so uh, that's probably what I'll end up doing whether I want to or not I know I, I say that all the time and I still end up doing it so uh, but yeah there he is some more battle poses that you can put him in um, I really hate this sword because it's a, it's plastic so it bends, bends a lot but uh, you know what are you going to do until the actual one comes um, but yeah Anyway, I want to give a shout out to my boy One. Uh, keep up the good work. You're killing them, bro. Keep it up. Um, it's Two Cool Kruger, uh, Darth Magnus, <clears throat> Autobot Tom, uh, Sir Brad, um, all my new subscribers. I wish I could name each and every one of you, but I can't. Um, <clears throat> you have to forgive me, bro. I've been through a lot lately. Um, and I can't remember your name, but the the one who is um, uh, ba basically had sent me the video saying he was going to be doing a uh, life size Freddy and a, a life size Superman and uh, Arnold and you know the, so uh, I can't, like I said man I'm so sorry I can't remember your name right now but uh, you know who you are you're my boy as well you know you're the one that got me straight and and you. Uh, pretty much told me you know you, you told me my work was good but uh, that I needed to get better at it and and uh, you know I, I was trying to sell my stuff for an amazing amount which you know I I came to my senses and it was because of your video uh, so anyway you know you can help me out more than you'll ever know um, but you know you only learn by uh, making mistakes and then you learn from them and you move on that's so uh, I think I a shout out goes to you too, man. And like I said, I wish I could remember your name, but um, 
offhand, I, I, I can't remember, so forgive me on that, but you know who you are. If you're watching this video, you'll know exactly who you are. But uh, anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed my video. Look out for more, hopefully soon. If not, uh, I'll try to put up as many as I'm able to, um, doing the best I can with what I have. Alright, guys. Later.